It has been way too long since I have done a styling video and today we're tackling statement pieces. Whether you have a crazy patterned sweater vest that you just bought because it's trendy but you don't know what to do with it or a crazy pattern jacket because I don't know it looks cute on the model or a pattern dress or just straight up a bright yellow sweater <laughs> doesn't matter what statement pieces you have and you don't need to have the exact same ones as I do but I really hope that I can share with you some top tips and secrets of how I make these statement things work Welcome to level one of styling statement pieces. First of all, I have to apologize for the lighting. I'm currently not at my own place. Hopefully we'll be moving to my own place very, very soon. But back to level one, which is super easy to remember. All you have to do is to keep one statement piece and then for the rest of your outfit, keep them as neutral as possible. It doesn't even matter if you have a light color sweater like I do here, or a black turtleneck, or a simple white shirt, anything that is basic in silhouette and color, and ideally pick up colors from your statement piece. So as you see, this is a really beautiful patterned pleated skirt, and it has creams, yellows, and greens pretty much all throughout and also um, black stripes as well. So what I did is simply picking up the cream color, paired it with the oversized sweater. You would have seen this one in my recent Come Shopping With Me video. I actually talked about how I really love this French chic sweater paired with pleated skirt vibe and I intentionally did not tuck my sweater in even though this is also a really cute look i actually really like the loose and loose fit and at the bottom just paired with my brown boots mine is knee high but you can pretty much go any height you want i personally really like my bottom covering my boot especially if i'm wearing a skirt or a dress i just feel like this looks a bit more cohesive even though this is a very spring summer looking skirt i really made it work by wearing heat tag or sometimes even leggings underneath this is a great way to carry out your statement pieces throughout the season and so that you can get the most wear out of them to keep myself even cozier i am just going to pair this really warm and fluffy coat again to tie everything together now with this coat again i actually think it looks best if you tuck the sweater in i actually have a little yellow handbag that picks up the yellow from my skirt i think this is probably the most ideal but even if you don't have like a statement crazy color handbag you can so easily swap it for a simple black or a white handbag but i just feel like this whole outfit looks really cohesive but it's also not so basic it's not an outfit that you will so easily see on you know pinterest boards or people's instagram this really adds your personal flair and flavor to it for me it's all about making a statement but also feeling comfortable in it now that you've successfully graduated from level one let's move into level two of styling statement pieces which is to pick up the statement colors of your pattern pieces and just layer just go ham on that so what i did i kept the skirt on but as you can see there is bits of green element on my skirt so i just paired it with another statement piece a statement Rain shirt. Now, what it does is really emphasizing and picking out that bright or statement color from your pattern so that it still doesn't look too crazy, but it's definitely unusual. Like, you probably won't see too many people wearing a bright green shirt with a super patterned skirt on the street. But I just really love how it really ties the outfit together. 
And even on top of that, you can pick up another statement color from your statement pattern and layer. So what I did is picking up the yellow and then just layered my yellow sweater over my green shirt. This is also what I do when I go shopping is every time I purchase or are considering purchasing a statement piece, I think about the colors that are in the particular pattern and see if I already have solid colored pieces that are in the same colors of the pattern because that is the easiest way to style without thinking too much, without clashing too much. It looks really, really cohesive, but it is still a very statement look. The trick of toning down a statement look is to keep a couple pieces on your outfit pretty statement, but also ground them with these neutral pieces, whether it is an outerwear, whether it is shoes, you can even pair with a brown belt or a handbag. A lot of the different elements of your outfits, they don't all have to be statement. And this is a really sort of easy way to make your statement piece wearable when you are not super comfortable with rocking a head to toe statement look. And for handbag, I'm just going to pair with a simple white bag. Even though white is kind of a standout color in the winter, I still consider it neutral, especially like an off-white or creamy white color. I just feel like it goes so well and really becomes a subtle statement to your outfit. Welcome to level three. We are finally into the contrasting territory. Now, if I just wear this sweater dress, I actually think it is relatively on the neutral side and easier to style side. I could so easily just pair it with my white coat again and bring like a little yellow bag or even a brown bag to pair with my boots and I'll be good to go. But of course, we're taking the styling to the next level. What really makes this dress stand out is the contrasting of the bright yellow as well as this really pretty lilac-y purple. You don't have to have this exact same dress or color combo. You could have a dress with pink with some green detail. You could have a blue dress with some yellow detail. I think the point is to identify an item that has contrasting elements. And it's fine if you don't have them. You could pair a top, a purple top with a yellow bottom, vice versa. As long as the colors are contrasting, what we're going to do here is to keep piling on the contrast of the same colors. Now, let me show you what I mean. I first threw on a yellow pattern shirt. Now, this looks crazy, but don't you worry. What we typically do with this shirt over sweater or sweater dress look is you want to make sure that the tightest part of the sleeves are on show. So because the sleeves of my dress are pretty tight, what I'm going to do is simply rolling up the sleeve of my shirt. So it almost creates the illusion that your arms are super, super long and slim. And of course, we don't want this random front bit of the shirt just hanging out there. So what I am gonna do is either unbutton a couple of the bottom buttons and just tie a very simple knot. So you see a really sort of casual but also special look because you wouldn't have thought to put a summery shirt over a wintery dress, but because of the contrast of the color, the material of the items almost don't matter as much. Now to create an asymmetrical look, the first thing you do is find the second hole of your whole side <laughs> of the shirt and button it with the top button. And what you do with the next button is you skip a hole and then do so. Now, once you're left with this long bit of the left side waist button, you just move your way up. Basically pick up the second to last button and put it in the hole, the first hole that you skipped. And then put the last button in the second hole that you skipped. So once you're done, 
you basically have this asymmetrical shirt look, which I actually think is really, really interesting. First of all, I've this is my first time trying it, so it took me a little while to figure out. But once I figure out, I actually really like the asymmetrical effect. It just adds something interesting to your outfit. But back to the styling piece. This just creates such a great contrast, and I personally would feel super comfortable wearing an outfit like this. And I would even just drape my yellow sweater over so it creates even more layers to this outfit. You can tie a little knot and I know it looks crazy that I am just layering random pieces but because of the coloring I really stick to the contrasting colors that I picked which is yellow and purple. This works out really really well. And I have my favorite Simbono bag that is in this beautiful lilac color that is pretty much the perfect match for my dress and this entire outfit. All you need to do is to pick two contrasting colors and keep piling them on as you build your outfit. Alright, welcome to level four of styling statement pieces. This time we are not just contrasting colors, we are contrasting and mismatching patterns. Now, this is a territory where it could just go vastly wrong, but also it doesn't matter as much because if you truly love the two patterns together, the outfit will make you happy. So do whatever that really makes you happy. But hopefully I can share with you a couple of tricks if you want to try layering patterns. What are the best ways to do so? I'm actually going to layer this other dress. This is a pretty sheer dress. It has really beautiful floral embroidery. It is not a crazy pattern and the way I make it work is because the sheer dress is pretty muted. It is a very deep navy color and the floral patterns aren't too crazy. And even the colors of the florals, there is yellow, there's blue, that brings out the blue from the striped dress underneath. So by layering these two dresses, what you see is through the sheerness, you almost see the natural combination of these two patterns. And because the outer layer is sheer, it just makes your outfit still look very put together even though you are contrasting pattern. Now to bring it up another notch, I am pairing it with another statement piece. So I have this tweed jacket that is again on this navy blue background. I think the key here is because everything is grounded in very neutral color and I have a couple of pieces with navy and one piece with brown. It just all of the colors naturally go really well with each other so the pattern becomes sort of icing on the cake and just makes your whole outfit a bit more interesting without looking like you just come out of a fabric shop and you're draping all the patterns on you. So because of the lightness of the material, the sheerness of the outer layer over the inner layer, and then also the nice tie of the background color, this dark navy, I think this whole outfit just looks really cool, very unusual, and really, really interesting. And you can just pair a cute little bag that picks up one of the colors from the pieces. So my bag really picks up the red of my outerwear. And because it's not like a bright red bag, I think it just goes really, really well with the navy. This is actually a really cute holiday outfit. I don't think people would typically expect you to layer so many different patterns, but it really works out. And the colors are just gorgeous. Welcome to the final level, level five and we are completely going ham in this round. We are not only contrasting color, we are tiling up patterns, we are adding statement pieces left and right. I think this is really the state where you feel so comfortable with your style, your outfits, that 
you truly don't care what people think. Even from the dress that I'm wearing now, I think this is not a dress that everybody will feel comfortable wearing because there are so many patterns and colors and even the silhouette is a bit of pleating you know you have the collar there's a lot of detail in even just my base piece but because i feel so happy wearing this i am just willing to go even more wild so the first thing we're gonna do is wearing my crazy sweater vest over now i know it looks absolutely insane but i love the pink picking out the pink from my base dress i also love the green as a contrasting color even though the patterns are so different from each other i think it works really well because of the coloring and i'm just going to tuck it under a bit to make it look a little bit more cropped and help elongate my figure this is actually a really practical outfit you don't have to pick out statement pieces you can easily wear your sweater vest over a longer dress i haven't seen too many people do that i've seen a lot of people wearing sweater vests over collar shirts on their own or with short t-shirts but consider using the vest actually to keep yourself warm and to help showcase the waist area when you're wearing a fairly long dress. My favorite yellow sweater is back. I am wearing it pretty much the same way as one of the prior outfits. Just drape it over my shoulder and just have, you know, a little bit of hint of yellow here. The reason I do that is this dress that I'm wearing has pretty much all the colors under the rainbow but I really like this yellow color in the colder month it just makes you feel really warm and cozy now I am bringing the white coat again again I do think with the adding of this coat again this whole outfit looked a little bit less crazy because it covers a good chunk of the pattern underneath but of course I want to stay practical and stay warm in the weather so I am doing this layered look I do like that in this outfit you see almost four layers you have the dress you have the sweater vest you have this yellow sweater as well as the coat again over and if you want to have an even more pop of color pair with a pair of bright pink gloves now this is to picking up the pink from the dress underneath but also serves as something a little special i think especially on this white background the pink gloves really really pop and to match with this i have this beautiful fuchsia color bag that really goes well with my gloves but also serves as another point of contrast overall i think it still looks cohesive even though you know these are crazy things that i'm wearing on top of each other i feel really comfortable and warm in this and i really hope that this gives you some ideas and also some confidence in just play around with your statement pieces statement pieces don't always have to go with neutral pieces level one that is for beginners if you have made it so far to level five i think you are really having all of the freedom to play around with what you currently have in your wardrobe you don't really need to buy new pieces and i really hope that by showcasing these different outfits these five levels i'm giving you some good tips and ideas and i will see you in one of these videos bye